Yo, what's up, you guys? So, you green reached out to me, said they wanted to send me um, some accessories that can be used with handhelds like the Legion Go, the RG Ally Steam Deck, and other handheld devices. So, they sent me a package. Um, so, I'm just letting you know that right off the bat. They did send me this package. Um, I'm not being paid or anything to make this video, but they just sent me some you know, some accessories that I can try out for you guys and let you know if they are the right ones for your Legion Go, your RG Ally Steam Deck and other handhelds on the market today. So if you don't know, Ugreen makes a bunch of um, chargers and things like that. So chargers, docks. And so they sent me some chargers out just to test for you guys. And I think we should have a nice collection of chargers that will be very helpful and useful um, for the RG Ally, the Legion Go that just released, the Steam Deck. Um, excited for the Steam Deck OLED that should be dropping very soon, and other handhelds on the market. So let's open this box. I'm not sure what we got, but let's open it up, um, test these things out, and see if they are the right ones for you. Okay, so right off the bat, we have this little guy here, the Nexod Charger. 65 watts here <laughs> look at this guy it's got like a little face on it so that's gonna be interesting to see let's put that to the side what else do we have in here we have a a big charger here so this is the the digi-nest cube it is a cube charger that has multiple uh outlets as well as um USB-C ports, USB-A ports. So this should be an interesting charger that um, is going to be able to charge um, multiple devices. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. What else do we have in here? Oh, a Steam Deck dock. That's nice. We're going to test this with the RG Ally and especially the Legion Go to see if this is um, big enough to fit the Legion Go and if the cable will reach to see if we can use this Steam Deck dock for the Legion Go. But it's, it has a nice selection of ports, Ethernet, HDMI, of course, USB-C, USB-A. So this is going to be a nice um, dock to test out for um, handhelds like the Steam Deck and the RG Ally. We're going to test it with the Legion Go as well. What else do we have in here? We also have some other small packages. Okay, some USB-C cables. That is nice. So we got a pretty good selection of um, chargers and cables here. I'm going to test these cables to see if they are capable of 100 watts. See if they can um, unlock that uh, turbo mode, that 30 watt turbo on the RG Ally. And we're going to see if we can use these with our handhelds. So yeah, let's test these devices out, these chargers and cables. And let's see how they all hold up. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the the Nexod uh, 65 watt charger. It says um, Ugreen's first robot um, gallium nitride charger. So let's test this out. It is 65 watts. Let's see if it unlocks the magical 30 watt turbo on the ROG Ally, and let's um, you know let's see how it is. It's a little robot guy. So I'm interested to test uh, this little Nexod charger out. Let's test him out. Okay, so here's the little robot charger, the Nexod robot charger. As you can see, there's a little guy here. <laughs> I like these chargers that have like some personality to them. Um, so this this like front is like a screen that should light up if a face. Well, I'm um, checked it out when we plug it in. But let's first look at the top. We have a nice selection of ports in there. I wasn't actually expecting it to have multiple ports, but we have a USB A and two USB C that should unlock uh, 65 watts total. And if you have just one device in, you should get a 65 watt peak um, power into your device. So let's plug this guy in. You have to actually take off his feet or shoes to see the prongs. I think that's just an awesome way to um, to make this like a little guy. And as you can see, pretty small. And let's plug him in, bring him to life and charge some devices. All right, for reference, this is my current favorite charger right now. This is the um, the Anchor um, GAN Prime charger. This is a 100 watt charger. So you can see it's smaller than the 100 watt, um, but it should offer 65 watts. So let's plug this in and watch him come to life. So let's check this out. Okay, as you can see, little face there. So that is actually pretty cool. It has a little face there that um, comes to life when you plug it in. Now let's take one of the um, cables that they gave us. And let's plug that in and see if we can get the magical 65 watt um, and 30 watt turbo in the RG Ally and other devices at full speed. So let's check that out. All right, so I got the RG Ally here. And as you can see, we are in uh, turbo mode. I have the uh, the Ugreen charger cable here. So let me plug this in. We should be getting 
um, 65 watts into the RGLI, and that should unlock our 30 watt turbo mode on the RGLI. So let's plug this in and let's see if we unlock that 30 watt turbo. So we should unlock that um, 30 watt turbo if we are getting our full 65 watts. And right now I see we are charging, but we are still at um, 25 watts, as you can see here. Okay, hold up, you guys. So it was um, it was just a software glitch with the ROG Ally. Um, I just restarted it, and you can see our little guy working here with the uh, U Green cable, and we are unlocking that uh, 30 watt turbo mode. So both the um, U Green cable and this little guy um, does unlock that magical 30 watt turbo on the ROG Ally that we love to see. And yeah, so that is an awesome um, thing to know. So this little guy here with the um, U Green um, charger is able to unlock that 30 watt turbo mode, which is uh, great to see. So let's move on to the um the big charger next this guy and i think it's interesting because we have multiple ports um full outlets as well as multiple usb ports so let's get this guy open the digines cube let's test it out all right check this one out the cube um, it has a very um high quality heavy duty cable here it actually has three full outlets here so one two, three, and then some rubber feet on the back. We have um, four USB ports, so two USB-C, two USB-A. Um, the USB-C, I believe, is rated up to 65 watts. So this is an interesting charger, you guys. I think this is a great quality charger. So this can charge all of, all, all of your devices. So let's plug some stuff up and see what we can charge. Okay, you guys, check out this monstrosity. I know this is like cable management nightmare um, with all this spaghetti here but check out this charger putting in the work i have three chargers in here this is 100 watt 100 watt 65 watt so a bunch of chargers in here i also have one inside of the USB C. so i'm, I'm charging the rg ally as you can see here confirm that we are getting that uh that 30 watt turbo as you can see here so we're getting that 30 watt turbo that's coming from the um the little robot guy so that's giving us the 30 watt turbo on the RG Ally. I'm also charging the um, Lenovo Legion Go. It's charging from a 100 watt charger. I also have the Steam Deck charging. As you can see, that's on and updating. So that's charging as well um, from the front USB-C, which is um, 65 watts. And we also have the GPD uh, Win 4 charging as well. So charging all four of these devices right now from this little uh, cube. It does have a pretty long um, cable, so that is great to see. You can just plug this up and have all your devices connected to this thing at once. Look at this, uh, at this monstrosity. This is a marvel of, of modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let me clean this up. It is working great. This is a, a awesome charger. I'm going to keep this in my studio and plug all my devices into it when I need to because I'm charging right now four different handhelds at the same time, which is amazing to see. Um, so yeah, it's definitely pushing a lot of power. So yeah, the next thing is to check out this dock. Save the best for last. I'm really interested to see if this works with the Legion Go, but if not, it would definitely work with the Steam Deck and the RG Ally and other, um, you know, similar size devices. So let's crack this open and let's check it out and I get you guys, you know, on your way. So yeah, let's get to it. If you made it to this point in the video, um, comment down below, little guy, in honor of this little guy right here. Uh, I think that's just like a, a cool little charger. Comment little guy um, in the comments below. You made it to this point in the video just in honor of this little guy here. But anyway, yeah, let's check. Let's clean this up first and check out the um, the uh, the dock here. Okay, so here we have the uh, the U Green dock here. It is uh, a six in one. So let's check it out. It is um, it does feel like high quality metal. So that is nice to see. Um, so it has a nice big opening here, so it should fit the Steam Deck even with a case. We're going to test that out, and as well as the um, the Legion Go and RNG Ally. Nice port selection, so we have 100 watt power in. We have um, HDMI, Ethernet, that's good to see. We have a USB-A, another USB-C. This does data at um, 5 gigabits per second, so that's good to see. And then we also have another USB-C on the side, so a nice selection of ports. Um, so yeah, let's test this out. Of course, it's going to work with the Steam Deck. I have a case on my Steam Deck, so it works with the Steam Deck with a case as well. As you can see here, it works with the case. Uh, let's plug that in. So it should work nicely. 
Um, so yeah, that, as you can see, that plugs in, works nicely. Now, I'm really interested to see if it works with the Legion Go. So before we do that, let's just test the RG Ally. That should fit as well because it is a similar uh, shape. Okay, so it fits in the RG Ally as well. Now the moment of truth, we're gonna test with the Lenovo Legion Go to see if this will uh, work. So I know it's gonna be a little offset because the um, the Legion Go USB-C is like off to the side. So let's check this out here. Um, so let's plug this in. Okay, it does fit, but it's gonna be like off to the side. It has to be like off center, with, which if you have so you know OCD, you may not like that, but it does fit. It's not the uh, most elegant solution, but um, if I put the stand out a little bit, then it definitely does um, does fit. It's a little bit off to the center, off center, but it does still fit. And if I have the um, the stand out of there, just so you guys a better grip, it does work. We do still have um, access to all of our ports in the back, so let's check that out. We still have access to all of our ports in the back, and if we just have this extended, it will fit in there, um, and you can still have access to all your ports. It's not the most elegant solution for the uh, Legion Go, but it definitely does fit. Um, so there you go. If you have a Legion Go and a Steam Deck, so I would definitely say that it is definitely um, perfect for the Steam Deck, and you may have to make some adjustments to fit other handhelds like the Legion Go. But yeah, in my opinion, it's a great dock. Uh, if you have the Steam Deck or a device like the RG Ally, it's going to be the perfect size and capability for those.